Introducing 529 Garage, community watch for your bike. Bike theft and the resale of stolen bikes is a big problem around the world. A solution to that problem is to create a database where you can register your bike and where you can also check against before buying a used bike, before accidentally buying a stolen bike. Such a database is called 529 Garage and they call that the community watch for your bike. The great thing about 529 Garage is that it's supported across Canada by the RCMP and other law enforcement agencies, universities, colleges, bike clubs. It has very good support. I was invited to go to the Vernon Community Safety Office to register my bike and see how easy it is. I've arrived at Community Safety and this is Rachel and she's going to register my bike on 529 Garage. What we're going to do is we're going to start with the first page. So I've got your name, so I need the person's the, the name of the person who owns the bike. Then I would need you to put in your address. email address. And so the next thing we would do is the make of the, bo the uh, bike is a mongoose this or is, is it a bottle? Mongoose. Excellent. So now we're going to add the serial number and a photograph of the serial where that might be found on bikes. And every bike it is different. They don't, they're not all standardized, we found out. So now we're going to look for anything that might be unique to the bike itself. So we've got a rat trap. You have your light. I have a trailer hitch. And a trailer hitch. So we're going to add those photos. So we go to the next thing would be the shield, which I have a handy dandy roll of shields. So each of these shields is similar to your driver's license, or sorry, your driver's plate where you have your insurance documents. So you have the insurance number and the dates. This is made out of the same type of material, so it makes it much more challenging to get off once you've got it on your bike. The recommendation is to put it somewhere that's highly visible so that it's a deterrent to somebody who might want to make away with, with your bike. So now we want to add the shield number as we have it. Oops. Very nice, very nice. Done. So now we're going to add more details. So. Okay. So we know that the last stage we have, we have all this information here, the shield number, we have a serial number, we have what the make, the model is, the build. So the next thing we're going to talk about primary color. Great. Take a look and see if all the information, it's all good. Excellent. Save it, and you've got three locks. Anybody that wants to come and have their, their bicycles registered, Garage 529, is invited to come down to the office. We would ask in a time of COVID that they actually call us ahead of time, just so that we can be prepared and make sure that we have the adequate staff to accommodate in case there's other people here. So the phone number for the Community Safety Office is 250-550-7840. So if you want to look up our office, you look it up under the City of Vernon Community Safety Office, and all the information is there to find us. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. So that didn't take very long at all. When I got home, I downloaded the app on my Android phone to register my other bike. And it tells you afterwards that it took you four minutes. I also wanted to register some bikes for friends. So I was looking at the app and I discovered I can't do that. And I really thought you could. So I sent an email to 529 Garage and they responded within the hour that had I loaded it on a iPhone or iPad, I would have received the option to register a friend. So I borrowed an iPad from Adventure Girl. And as you can see, it's uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, register a friend. You just have to swipe and automatically you get a place for a username and an email address. And I'll explain a bit more about that in a moment. The great thing about this app, and they obviously put some time and effort into it, the reason it only took me four minutes to register a bike is because you just keep going to the next thing. You enter the make, the model number, and the year. Make and model number actually is pre-populated, so if you have a popular one, it's probably already there. Next thing you do, add a photo of your serial number. Next thing you do, add a photo of what to look for on the bike. Got a really long scratch? or a custom paint job, take a picture and put it there. I couldn't do this right away, but I registered my bike and then I went back to the community safety office and got a shield, put it on my bike, added the photo, side of the bike, I made sure I could see the 
logo across the top and the side for the bike side. And then there's a summary detail and a prompt to complete your registration. You can complete your registration without the shield and edit your registration after you receive your shield with the shield number. The nice thing about registering a friend's bike is they will receive an email with the details on their bike and then they have to claim their bike and then you can no longer edit. That way you're not responsible for everybody's bike. Whenever you register an account, you begin a virtual garage and then you populate your garage with your bikes. And I also registered a bike trailer. So I encourage you to download the app and register your bike if you don't feel like doing that. As Rachel says, give the community safety office a call, make an appointment to go down, ride your bike down there and get it all registered up. Like and subscribe for more videos. Check out my other YouTube channel, Active Vernon.